I wanted to make a couple predictions about the <laughs> response to the upcoming election and what some of the Republican establishment is going to say or try to do to keep their job because they're desperate right now. They know that it's going to be like a, a, a Nixon era flip of the government because people are so fed up. So back in 2015, the run up to Donald Trump, the Republicans really didn't have anybody. If you think back, who'd they have? Ted Cruz? I know atheists who cross themselves and sprinkle holy water just whenever they see Ted Cruz. So he's not a popular person when it comes to charisma and being able to rally the people. There might have been Paul Ryan, maybe. I think the problem with Paul is the power establishment can't really trust him enough to be there. So they keep him at arm's reach, but he's still in it enough. He's still enough. Um, so the Republicans for the last however, forever, have gone along with the president and it's been a total and absolute crap fest. The swamp they said that they were going to drain got filled with swamp creatures and now we have this kind of rhetoric, this spin going around where it's all, it's all President Trump's doing. Everything is President Trump's doing. That the Republican establishment had absolutely nothing to do with it. That they were powerless. That Trump, all this craziness, that's Trump's fault. That they have to position themselves that way because otherwise they're responsible. And then come election day, people are going to remember, oh yeah, this was this idiot that, you know, burnt down the United States and poisoned us all and killed us all. So I'm not going to vote for him. If, uh, if they want to get away from that and try to spin it another way to save their jobs, they're going to do something like, leave me in office and I'll keep an eye on Joe and the Democratic establishment, and I'll make sure that they're not going to go crazy, go rogue. So that's going to justify my existence, vote for me. Well, that's not going to work either, because that implies that the last four years you had a chance of doing something, and you didn't. So that makes you responsible in that regard. So did you try to do something and couldn't, or did you go along with it and are responsible? Either way, it's a huge failure, failure, and either way, it undermines justification for re-election, for keeping your seats. These, They're going to tell you whatever they can to stay elected. Just understand that. It's a running joke in political satire that politicians are self-serving liars that get their money from corporations and uh, the power class and that they don't do the bidding of the people. There's a reason why that, that satirization exists is because it's true. <laughs> it's true today as it ever was. And if it's never been more apparent, then I don't know what to say that will convince somebody otherwise. It's just laid bare. And the prediction for the future is they're going to try to justify their existence and say that they didn't have anything to do with all of the recklessness and bullcrap that's happened over the last four years, even though there's this thing called the internet, we can go back and look, we can see it come out of their own face and their own words, the exact opposite of what they're going to tell us in the run up to election day. Do not be fooled. I know most of the people that listen to my, my, my channel, listen to my news, aren't going to be fooled, but uh, just mark my words. It's going to be interesting when I come back in December and replay clips from this show and it's going to overlap reality <laughs> because as sure as I am here talking to you right now, they're going to try and do that. They're going to say, keep me in office so that we can balance out the Democrats because we don't want them going crazy like, like Trump did. Why not? Let's just, Hey, let them go. Just let them go. Whatever, whatever you want to do, just do it. Let's see what happens. It's already a dumpster fire. Uh, I'm, everybody's about ready to bug out into the woods anyway, so I mean, what what are you going to do? Drop a bomb somewhere? That's the only thing that's left, really, <laughs> is a, a full-scale nuclear war somewhere. That's the only thing that's left. That's where we're at in society. We've spent hundreds of thousands of years to get here. So... Great job, humanity. You're really knocking it out of the park. 
So my predictions for the future, let's see if those play out.